Greetings and welcome to another video in the Voice Tech and You series. In this episode, we're going to take a look at making a command. Let's get to it. There we go. There's a command I made earlier, which has got a simple voice trigger in it, deploy gear. I have gone through the voice trigger commands in a, another video, which I'll link to at the end of this one. With voice attack, primarily, you say something and that triggers a command which invariably presses a key. So in this case, the deploy gear, we're going to take it that the program presses G. There we go, G. Done. That's it. It is that simple. And we could just carry on with that and it would be quite good. However, sometimes you, know, you might want an audio response to come back. What you can do, you can go to other and go to sounds and you can use the text to speech option in voice attack. And then we can say gear, gear, gear is deployed. And then she'll say that. We can test it. Gear is deployed. Gear is deployed. If we wanted it to say the TTS to say more things, we put a semicolon and then we can say something else. We've got three things there. Now when you use the preview option here. Gear is deployed. Gear is deployed. Gear is down. Gear is deployed. Gear is it's deployed. It's random which one it selects. However, if you highlight something and then do preview. Gear lowered. Gear lowered. That sounds Gear a little limit. odd, but that's just a, a quirk of the TTSs. You, you may need to tweak the spelling of the word or phrase to adjust how it sounds. And it'll, you, know, you can tweak it as you want. Also, voice tech, you can also do effect sets. This is one I messed around with earlier. Here is down. Here is down. It completely changes the voice. Gear limit. So you can go in there and you can do all sorts of wonderful things and, you know, mess around and change the pitch and then all the other. So we can have a text to speech there. Or the other thing you can do is you can play a sound you've got or something you might have recorded. We go in here and you can just select it. Let's ask some whole messing with Factorio in there that I've made. And then you can change the volume, change the channel. You can change the beginning position, the end position, etc. Change the volumes and all sorts of things. So in here, you've got the option to play a random sound and you can just add these in. You just go into there and then you can just add in all of them, some of them, however many you want. And then you can tell, you know, wait for this sound to complete before continuing, which you might want to do sometimes, especially if you've got two or three sounds that play one after the other. If you don't tick that, they'll all play over each other. So to be aware of. You can change the voice volume there if you want to. The other option is play a random sound from a directory. So you just pick a directory. Again, you've got your drop down there to select where you want to get from. Volume and balance. This is a suppress repeat option. So if you have lots of sounds, it will try to play a different sound every time. The less sounds you have, the more chance you've got to repeat. The more sounds you have, the less chance you've got to repeat. Prefix loads audio into VoiceX memory when the profile loads. So you can set aside a portion of memory for prefetching audio. You might need to use it, possibly, if you want something to play dead instantly, or if you've got a slow hard drive, maybe. Use it if you feel like it. I've never bothered with it myself. I've never needed to. So we go back to the TTS for the moment. It's nice and easy. Which will say the gear is down. The gear is down. We'll just keep it nice and simple for now. Tick that. So we'll wait for that to finish. Then this is all it does now. You say deploy gear, it'll press a key and let's have we OK this. Enable the mic. Deploy gear. The gear is down. It pressed G and the TTS said the gear is down. 
That's it. You made a basic command. Now you can leave it like that and carry on to do more and more commands. However, a couple of little things. If we go back into the profile, now in here, we're pressing G. So whenever we're using this command, we're going to press G because that toggles the landing gear up or down. However, doing it this way, and there's nothing wrong with doing it this way, but the thing is, if you ever want to change that key bind, you've got to come into this command and change it. Ideally, you want two commands, one to lower the gear and one to raise the gear. So that's deploy gear, and then we'd want another command to raise the gear. So if we made another command up, we'd have raise the gear. So if I wanted to change the key bind, I'd have to do it in both commands. What we can do is we go into here. We could use a variable called, and we're going to call this landing gear, like that. The voice attack is case insensitive. It doesn't matter whether it's uppercase, lowercase, or any weird combination. I just capitalize the first letter of a word, so it makes it a bit clearer to the eye. OK that and OK that. There's a couple of other commands I've got in here. And one of those is called keybinds. You can see that it's unticked when I say so it will never be, it won't be misheard and activated accidentally. And in here we've got a variable which says landing gear. And we need to give it a, a value which is going to be G in this case, G for landing gear. And OK that. And this is a category called startup commands. And here we've got a command called startup commands. And what this does is it execute the key binds key whenever this runs. So anything I want to run in this profile when it loads, I'm, I will put in here. It may just be one command, it could be several. And then what you then do is go to options and we go to profile execution. And what we want there is execute a command each time this profile is loaded. So we tick that. Now the drop down appears and we can see the various commands. So we want startup commands. OK it. And then we click on done. And if I close voice stack, open it up again. Go through loads of your plugins I've got in there. You see, look, it says there profile startup, startup commands. So it's now ran that command, which is then executed the keybinds command. So if I now say deploy gear, the gear is down. It presses G for me because it's loaded that variable into the voice attacks memory. Whenever I want to change the key bind for landing gear, so I've got another game which landing gear in it, I could use the same profile, but the key bind might be different. So I could either change it in the game or I could change it in in here. And having everything and having everything in this one command makes it easier. You just keep on adding text commands. So we have another one there for say lights. That'll be L. So it's a way it's just the way I prefer to do it myself. If you don't want to do it that way, no biggie, do it the other way. Right. Now for most commands, that'll be more than enough. And let's call this one Plane functions. And this can be deploys landing gear. And that's that. Now, with things like landing gear, lights, anything which is on or off, true or false, you can have a little problem. And that is voice attack normally cannot detect what a game is doing. There's no connection between the game and voice attack. So when you say deploy gear, all it's doing is it's, it's doing what you told it to. It's pressing G and saying the gear is down. So if that doesn't happen in the game, for some reason, say you're, you're looking at a different screen, voice attack can press G, but the gear won't deploy. And even if it does deploy, voice tech doesn't know it's deployed. It's, it's, there's no link. You could have another command, which is raise gear. And you can say raise gear. 
But if the gear is already up, and you say raise gear, it will deploy the gear, or vice versa. There is a way around it, and it's using variables. I used to use a boolean, a true or false. You could use a text variable and have it up or down. Either would work. What we're going to do is make two commands up. We're going to do one and then copy it because it'd be a little easier. So what we're going to do here is we're going to press the key, give the response, and then in this one, we're going to go to advanced and... So we're going to say this is going to be gear down. This is a deploy gear, so this is going to be true. So it can be set to true there. Now, we only want to do this command if the gear down boolean is set to false. We need to do another command in here. So we go to other, advanced, and then we want to do a conditional statement. So it's uh, if this, then that. Single condition, because we don't really gonna be checking one thing. So we want to do the boolean, true or false, and that's gear down. We're saying, okay, so if it's equal to false, which it should be, because the gear should be up at this point, carry on. Move it into the right spot. There we go. So now we can say, if gear down equals false, that there, evaluate not set as false. When you load voice attack, none of the variables are actually set. They don't exist until you initialize them or you've loaded them from save values. In this case, gear down, when you load up the profile, would be not set. So we're going to set not set as false in this particular case. Some situations you might not want to do that, but in this case we do. We're assuming that when you load into the game, the plane or whatever it is isn't floating in midair with the gear down. So that's going to be set to false. When the command runs, it checks the variable state. Is the gear down false? Yes, it's false. The gear is retracted. At which point it'll press G, the gear is down, and then it will set that value to true. Now if we do this now, deploy gear. The gear is down. Deploy gear. It's the recognize the command, but nothing's happened because it set that value to true. We can do another TTS at the end of it. We've got another option we can do. We can then go, we can add an else statement in there. So you've got this down here. There you go. You've got else if, if you want to do multiples, but if this is going to be a true or false as it is, in this case, you just want else. So else, we're going to say, go to sounds, is already and spell down okay the gear is already down the gear is already down there we go deploy gear the gear is already down okay see so just by doing that we've now put a check in to determine if the gear is up or down so then what we do is we can copy that one then we just duplicate it and then we do raise gear we don't need to change the keybind because it's the same thing, but we will now say gear is up. And then we'll set change to the gear is already up. But then we need to change the condition. If this equals true, as the gear is down, we want to set that to false. So that will say if gear down equals true, it'll press the key to toggle the gear in the game, and it'll say the gear is up. And if it's already up, it'll say it's up. Raise gear. The gear is up. Raise gear. The gear is already up. Deploy gear. The gear is down. Deploy gear. The gear is already down. Raise gear. The gear is up. See? So we've now got two commands. And they will check to see if the gear is really up or down. The problem with this is, because there's no feedback between the two, between the, the game and voice attack, if you manually press the G key in the game to deploy or raise the gear, voice attack's got no idea you've done that. 
so it thinks it's in a state that it isn't. Now, there are some games where there's what's called an API, which allows voice attack to talk to the game. Like Elite Dangerous can do it, DCS World could do it, there's a few others that have got the ability using a plugin that acts as a bridge between the two. So something happens in the game, it sends out the information to a file, voice attack can read the file and get the game state. But for the most part, you can't. So you've got to be very careful with that. So with things like this, the only thing you can really do is have a command to maybe reset the gear to a known state. So let's just quickly duplicate this. And we don't need much of this, to be honest. So we just go that, and we just say reset gear state. And then we'll just... So all this will do is it will set the gear state to false whenever you say it. So apply that. Deploy gear. The gear is already down. Reset gear state. Deploy gear. The gear is down. Make sure to reset it to false. Now, voice attack can detect key presses. And it's something you could do, but with a true or false um, situation like this, where the gear can either be up or down, and it has the same key to either raise it or lower it, you get a little problem. If we go back in here, we're going to deploy gear, and we're going to say, when I press keys, and I've already done the variable bit in there, the key press, and we do the same for raise gear. Like so. Okay. So if I press the key on the keyboard, the gear is already it up. It does both commands at the same time. Because there's no way to differentiate between whether it's going to be you want the gear to go down or you want the gear to come up. Because the game only has one key to toggle the function. If it had two separate keybinds, no worries, you could just change the keybind. Like, you know, left shift G to bring it down and G to bring it up. But most games don't let you do that. They just give you, you know, for landing gear or for lights, it's just a toggle. So you press it and it flicks between the two states. But there's no real way for voice text to know that. You've got to be careful with things like that. That's all. Now, there is something else you can do. You could combine both deploy gear and raise gear into one command. But that's going to be for another episode. But I hope that helps and gives you a little bit of an idea of how you can start building your commands up. Go and have a play, have fun, experiment, try things. Let's see what you can get up to. If you've enjoyed the video or found it useful, click the like button. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe too and share the video out. Until the next one, take care and I'll see you soon. Toodles.